Hello. Uh, yeah. Lord of the Rings stuff. Yeah, this actually just came out, what, like a couple weeks ago? Two, three weeks ago? Yeah, it's not that old. Um, I guess this is, they have kind of like two different little slates that they're kind of doing here. They're doing, they did the original Lord of the Rings release uh, back in, what was it, June? And then they just kind of let the pack sit out there for a little while. And now, I think it was late August or early September, they released these. So let's see what comes in here. Uh, it looks like it includes two promo cards, three set boosters, and a tin. Um, I will say this, Wizards of the Coast, don't get into the habit of doing tins. Please don't. Because I've got like a million tins and nowhere to put them. And I know some people are like, oh, maybe I want tins. No, you don't. Trust me. You really, man, this isn't thick enough. This is a, what is with this plastic? Okay, there we go. Uh, but yeah, I, I assure you, yeah, you'll get like one tin, but then after a while, you'll be like, what am I doing with all these tins? That's kind of what happened with me with uh, Pokemon. You start with one tin, and then before you know it, you've got like 90 tins. <laughs> You're like, why would I buy 90 of them? Dude, it happens. It just happens. There's our cool little picture of the One Ring. And let's go ahead and open this up. Oh, wow. Okay, they actually gave a nice little... Huh. Okay. Uh, there's our Lenoir Elves. Let me see. Is there anything... Uh, oh, weird. There's, they gave me two little plastic thingies. Thanks. Uh... Yeah, thanks. I really wanted two of these. Okay. So I get that out of there, and then you've just got your nice little fancy tin, which I guess, I guess if you want one just for collection, I guess it's fine, but believe me, these, it's, it's cool to have the collection stuff, but over time, tins and things of this size start to take up a lot of space, and their usability for anything, well, useful, is sort of limited. So, yeah. Okay, so we've got our three booster packs. And then, is this just a penny sleeve? This is just a penny sleeve, okay. I mean, it's kind of neat, but it's just a penny sleeve. Okay, so, yeah. It's just, just a regular old penny sleeve. Feels a bit weird. Okay, so here's our line of war elves. Wow, that's pretty. In fact, here, let me zoom in my camera a bit here. Because we're going to be opening packs here anyway. So, there's our elves. It's nice looking, I love it. It's got the old school... Uh, star and everything here. And of course, everybody still loves Lanoir Elves, I imagine, because of how useful they are. One for 1-1, one, one, and you get mana out of him. So there's our Lanoir Elves. And then this one, is that like a foil etched? Yeah, it looks like a foil etched of a uh, Lathril Blade of the Elves. And I guess, well, it's technically a mythic, but every tin comes with these, so uh, not, not bad. Nice looking. Okay. So there's our elves, and there's our mythic. So we'll go ahead and put these right back in the sleeve. Uh, that, you know, that I, I gotta hand it to them though. I mean, yeah, uh, that's cool. I actually f much rather get a penny sleeve than to get just like a regular plastic wrapper uh, that you see with a lot of these other companies. Because at least the penny sleeve, you can get some use out of it afterwards, whereas with the plastic wrapper, uh, yeah, it just kind of gets it out of the way. <laughs> So here we go, uh, set boosters. We're gonna open these up and see if we get any, uh, any fancies. I haven't really gotten anything amazing out of any of the Lord of the Rings packs I've opened. Of course, I've not opened very many, uh, but I'm hoping to get at least a little something out of these three packs. Let's see what we got here. We got ourselves a crazy looking art card. We got ourselves a regular old planes, a snarling warg, Oliphant, Mirkwood Spider, Mirkwood Bats, Long List of the Ents for the Uncommon, Entish Restoration, Uncommon, uh, Quick Beam Upstart Ent, and Landraval Horizon Witness, and what we got here, oh that's right, forgot we get one of these little uh, showcase ones, Gimli Counter of Kills, but we got something fancy coming up, Fall of Gil Galad for the... Uh, I guess that's a, a saga, that's right. <laughs> I always forget what these are called. Saga rare, okay, my bad. And then we get ourselves, oh my goodness, look at that. <laughs> oh, nice. Foil extended art 
Orcish Bowmasters. Oh my goodness. Does everybody still hate this card? Because I suddenly love it. <laughs> oh, that this will probably pay for the tin. Uh, yeah, aren't, at one point these were like $20, even for just like a regular version of it. Uh, yeah, I'll have to check the price on what it is now. Okay, Orcish Bowmasters, awesome. And then we've got uh, the One Ring little instruction card. We've had those before. You know, I actually had somebody buy one of these off me. Weird. All right, so uh, <laughs> we've started really, really well. Okay, so because I got the, the Bowmaster, that means that I'm not going to get anything out of these two. <laughs> but wow, okay, uh, this tin is already awesome. <laughs> Finally, we got something great out of these packs. Oh, nothing out of the list slot here, it looks like. Oh, wow. What is that? Fires of Mount Doom? That looks really... Is that what that is? Valley of Gorgor Gorgoroth. Okay. And we've got ourselves an island. And Rush the Room. Olag High Crusher. Uh, Vanguard. Haradim Spearmaster. Rohemir Lancer. Arwen uh, Undo Miel. I can't say her last name. Sorry. Celeborn the Wise. A mirror of Galadriel. And Oliphant the Extended Art. Nice. And Smeagol. Helpful guide. He's not too expensive. Uh, I think I sold one of these for like two bucks. And then we've got an Ithilian Kingfisher. That is some really nice art, though. Gotta hand it to him there. Okay, so we'll put Smeagol over there. Let's put our Kingfisher here. Oh, look, we've got a smog token. <laughs> yeah, I've actually not gotten a smog token before. I wonder if these are any good. As, val as far as value goes. Okay, so here we go. Last pack. Uh, again, thank you for checking out the videos. All of this will be going up on the store, including the Bowmasters. So if you happen to want it, then I will be offering that for sale. Ooh, I think we may have a list card here at the, at the back here. The list cards, I've always had interesting luck with list cards. So what do we got here? What is that? Oh, Elrond. Nice. Okay, we got ourselves a swamp. Slip on the ring. Birthday escape. Arwen's gift. Uh, Hith lane knots. Bilbo retired burglar. Barrow blade. Frodo baggins. Golem patient plotter. Sold those as well. And mini partings for the extended art. That's actually really nice. I like that extended art one. That is a really nice looking card. And what do we got here? Oh, we got something fancy coming up. Call of the Ring for the uh, regular rare. That's actually, I think, I sold a few of those. I don't remember how many. Okay, interesting. And then we've got, uh, oh, wow, okay. That's an interesting foil. We've got Faramir Field Commander. Uh, it's a foil uncommon, but man, it looks really good. <laughs> That is a pretty card, okay. And then, oh, look at that. We did get ourselves a list card. Pentavus for, what is that from? Commander 14. Okay, so Pentavus from Commander 14. That's an interesting card and it's rare. Okay, so all things considered, uh, this was a pretty good opening. Again, the Bowmasters is what really really made this opening amazing. I'll have to check on the Pentavis. I don't know the value of that is. I don't know what the ring, or the call of the ring value is. These I don't think are too expensive over here, the Smeagol and the Fall. But yeah, the Bowmasters for sure. That is an amazing looking card. And then the Pentavis we'll have to check. Again, this Faramir card, I don't think it's very expensive, but it's beautiful. Look at this thing. Wow, I can see why some people buy these cards just for collecting, because that if you're a Lord of the Rings fan and you don't even play Magic, gosh, is that a beautiful card. Okay. Anyways, like I said, gonna put all this on the store. Uh, it'll probably be up there probably today. Anyways, thanks for checking out the uh, opening, guys. Uh, subscribe and all that other stuff. It really does help the channel because, you know, I could use more subs. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, we will uh, see you next time. And the Bowmasters will get you. <laughs>